At kasama nga natin ngayon para pag-usapan ano, ang uh, hindi na kwentuhan, ano, talagang uh, pagpapakondisyon ang ating uh, tututukan, ang ating uh, kaibigan, taga UP Fight, Coach Mel Lantin. Coach Mel, magandang uh, araw sa iyo at welcome sa PTV Sports. Yes, uh, Dennis, magandang araw din sa inyo dyan sa studio. Coach, bentang-benta kayo ngayon, ano, yung mga katulad mo dahil alam naman natin, pandemic, kalusugan ang pinag-uusapan. E eh, matanong ko lang, uh, siguro sa iyo bilang isang uh, uh, practitioner no? ng uh, 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 yung pagpapakondisyon or usaping uh, kalusugan, eh, gaano ka kabisi? No, dahil marami ngayon, hindi busy. Pero ikaw, sa mga oras na ito, sa mga panahon nito, gaano ka busy ang isang Coach Melantin? Uh, yun nga, sa ngayon, uh, nagtuturo ako sa FEU as uh, a lecturer and uh, tinuturo ko linya pa rin natin itong uh, strength and conditioning. Uh, aside from that, uh, meron akong uh, maliit na performance center here in Las Piñas where uh, I handle also yung mga atleta natin na uh, kaya lang kailangan naka-schedule, uh, strict scheduling para na bibigyan namin ng oras ang bawat isa sa kanila. Mm -hmm. Coach, nabanggit mo strength and conditioning. Um, siguro marami dyan parang nagugulan tang, nagugulat. Ano? Kasi sa mga panahon nga ngayon, eh, ang usapin, eh, basta malusog ka, Uh, malakas ang iyong uh, pangangatawan, eh, pagdating ba sa aspeto ng strength and conditioning, ito ba ay may ituturing na essential pa rin? Or would you admit na nga, medyo uh, mataas-taas na level as compared dun sa kung ano yung basic na kailangan ng mga tao ngayong uh, may COVID-19? Uh, tama ka dyan, Dennis. No? Uh, Unang-una, ang strength and conditioning, malayo ito sa general fitness. Uh, in fact, ang uh, hinahandle natin pagka nagkakaroon na ng strength and conditioning are more on the uh, athlete side and the uh, recreational athlete side. No? And uh, pagka ganyan, lalo ang mga hahawakan natin eh, nasa amateur, semi-pro, or professional level, uh, kailangan yan uh, sinasubdivide yung whole training year. Nakatiming sila kung kailan sila magpipik and uh, kung kailan sila magkakaroon ng recovery or off-season. Mm -hmm. So, ibig sabihin nito, Coach, yung mga katulad mo, eh, talagang more on yung mga professional athletes. Kasi, alam mo naman sa atin, pagka narinig na ganun ka, na, uh, ang trabaho mo is magpakondisyon, eh, iniisip agad ng karamihan na, uy, baka pwede mo akong tulungan. No? Kung baga, parang nurse, pag nurse, kala doktor ang tingin. Parang ganun ba yung ano yung mm -hmm. yung uh, yung comparison uh, coach? You may say uh, parang doktor sa exercise, sa movement pattern. Okay, yung uh, ginagawa ting specialization is tailor fit dun sa mga specific sport na i-cater namin if ever magkaroon kami ng uh, uh, client from different sport like basketball Uh, yan, boxing and uh, other sport. No? So, differentiated yan. Mm -hmm. Coach, um, in, in, in uh, well, sports in general, kanya-kanyang sport, kanya-kanyang coach, di ba? Uh, so, kung coach ka ng basketball, talagang exclusively basketball ka lang, eh, no? hindi ka pwedeng tumuwid ng, ng boxing or ng volleyball. Birang-bihira yan. Wala pa ako narinig na ganyan. No? Pero sa inyo, Um, do you cater din talaga uh, generally sa mas maraming sports o meron din kayong uh, sa, sa profession ninyo na ika nga ay nag-specialize uh, for a particular sport or mga mangilan-ngilan na, na mga sport lang talaga? Yes, uh, Dennis, to be specific ano, sa question mo, uh, yung skill coaching, like for example, if you're a basketball coach, definitely hindi mo kayang gawin ng uh, golf coaching, tennis coaching, or uh, boxing coaching. No? Iba yon. But uh, if you talk about uh, strength and conditioning, you have to analyze, like for example, ano yung nature ng sport. Makakapag-design ka kasi. Uh, if it's an endurance sport, or a sport, or a combination sport, now, you have to be well-versed uh, as a strength coach 
to uh, give the particular uh, components that uh, an athlete needs, whether it's a basketball player, uh, a golfer, uh, a tennis, and uh, in this particular, a boxer. Alam mo, Coach, kaya ako natanong yan, ano? Because uh, I, 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 uh, based on my observation with the national team of the past and present, ilang mga professional athletes, ano? Uh, meron kasing, ano eh, meron kasi tayong mga um, organizations or NSAs or professional teams or professional uh, athletes na parang for them, dapat ang maging coach nila, strength and conditioning in particular, someone is someone na uh, naging uh, practitioner din nung sport nila. I don't know if, if, if you feel that or nangyari sa'yo na gano'n. Parang medyo ilag sa inyo or, or hindi naniniwala basta-basta dahil for them parang kung hindi ka naging boxer, di, ka pwede, di mo ko pwedeng uh, i-train. Andun ka sa basketball, galing ka sa basketball, lilipat ka sa boxing or boxing, lilipat ka ng uh, volleyball, di ba? Merong ganong mga coaches, managers, no? At mga NSAs. Yes. Na, na, yung bang ganun, eh, na-encounter na, na mo yung ganun? Uh, actually, dito sa atin, sa Pilipinas, is, it comes to uh, uh, specialization. Uh, yung exposure ko kasi are more on the European and uh, the Western type of coaching. And uh, yun na nga, specific sila when it comes to who gives drills, who gives tacticals, who gives strength and conditioning, who gives... It's a well-rounded, uh, no? like a sports medicine team where it encompasses a lot of discipline where in there is the athlete. And uh, dito sa atin, ang nangyayari, misan is yung sinasabi mo nga parang nagiging know-it-all na, na coach na, trainer pa, uh, PT pa. So I think uh, we have to do what the champions are doing, you know? like uh, as I have said, in other countries. And uh, it's all about specialization and uh, uh, recognizing them. Mm -hmm. and, uh, well, actually, kung mapapansin ka natin and uh, maging observant lang ano, ang uh, ating uh, mga coaches and mga athletes, the more na nagiging successful ang isang atleta, the more na kumukuha ng mas mahal, mas elite na mga coaches na katulad mo. Ah, tama ba yung coach? Uh, hal. <laughs> Kasi uh, dito sa atin talagang uh, depende rin sa deal ng mga companies. But uh, again, uh, yung pinaka-importante dito is yun na nga. Yung i-recognize mo yung kung specialize siya sa ganon, siya ang or kung specialize si ganitong coach sa skills or what, siya ang kukunin mo. Nagkakaroon ng uh, proper networking and walang nasasagasaan sa iba't ibang klase ng coaching natin dito sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Coach, meron ako nakakwentuhan na isang uh, well-known no? na boxing uh, coach, uh, foreigner actually. No? Nagulat ako eh. No? Although hindi ko nababagitin yung pangalan because we were talking privately. No? Uh, ang sabi niya na sa boxing, hindi kailangan ng conditioning coach kung bata pa yung boxingero because ang sabi niya, eh bata pa yan, natural pa yan, na meron lakas, mahaba pa ang resistensya. Para sa kanya, mga conditioning coaches, pumapasok dapat pagka medyo 25, 26 pataas. Ano, ano bang komento mo about that? Uh, okay, that's a very good question, no? And uh, if you will ask my uh, professional opinion and philosophy, believe it or not, yung mga collegiate natin uh, in the college level, yung mga varsity natin as young as, what, 18, 17, we are providing them already strength and conditioning. Mm -hmm. And why is that? Okay? Uh, strength and conditioning is known to uh, improve athletic performance, uh, injury prevention, and of course, yung uh, prolonging ng uh, uh, career itself ng atleta. So, like when, uh, eto lang yan eh, nung bata tayo, tumatalon tayo, tumatakbo tayo, we crawl, 
body gets uh, stronger. No, dun siya na na giging mas effective and dun siya nag-grow pagka merong right amount of stresses. Okay. Coach, uh, a few days ago, no, uh, nakipagkasundo ka with uh, Team Wonder Boy, si Carl Hames Martin. Pero uh, kung titignan natin, you have about, what, two weeks para hawakan uh, itong uh, batang ito. No? Is it that too short of a time para sa'yo uh, in terms of uh, makapag-contribute ka sa kanyang upcoming uh, fight uh, this February 20? Indeed, it is short notice ta no that's why uh, hangga't maaari hindi muna ako uh, nakikialam sa ibang sa deeper uh, type of training nila coach of Jared because ayo kung maapektuhan yung plan nila meron na sila pagka siguro nag-ask lang si coach Abel or si coach Jared ng uh, opinion siguro makakapagbigay ako pero application ng program uh, I think after pa ng, ano, ng uh, uh, game ni Carl this uh, Feb 20. Right now, it's really too late na, na Dennis. Eh. Mm -hmm. Coach, uh, um, in, in accepting this challenge, and it seems that uh, you're ready to work with them uh, beyond Feb 20. You know? uh, kasi, di ba, kayo ba, tuma tumatanggi ba kayo? Ibig sabihin, tumatanggi kayo because you believe na Itong kliyente na to or itong atleta na to mukhang, mukhang wala or kayo basta may, may, may time, okay, uh, wala kayong tinatanggihan. Okay. Uh, you have to assess and uh, you have to also like uh, si Senator Manny Pacquiao who would know that uh, he will be Senator Manny Pacquiao now and multi-titled champion when uh, he started uh, a long time ago. Diba? So it's all about uh, giving uh, this uh, individual a chance. And uh, since narito naman kaya tayo may trabaho is to develop them, to help them, to educate them. Now, it's going to be a bonus if they went uh, over that. No? O kung uh, nakapunta sila sa amateur, professional, and to where they are right now. So, mm -hmm. I think it's all about chances. Eh? Yes, oh, okay. to answer your question. All right. Uh, uh, Coach, um, sabi mo nga, kukulain ka ng time at least. Ano? Uh, hindi enough, you may bibigay mo, but still, uh, you, you want to be, you want to start yung, yung pag, uh, uh, pagiging part ng uh, team nila, Carl Hames Martin, But, uh, nagkaroon ko ba ng chance na i-analyze din yung future ng bata at ano yung nakikita mong uh, maganda sa ngayon at yung dapat na i-develop mm -hmm. uh, kay uh, Martin? Okay. Uh, I visited the team Martin, I think, two or three, uh, three days ago. And uh, pinanood ko siya how he moves and uh, I gave a... Uh, we had a talk, yung family ng team Martin. And uh, yun na nga. Uh, Carl is an exceptional boxer, no? Why is that? Imagine, uh, wala pa nga siyang uh, strength and conditioning. His, ang ganda na nung record niya. Okay, and uh, nababanggit ko nga, si Carl is like a stock car. Yung bagong kotse na pag minaneho mo, smooth na yan eh. So yung mga components like yung uh, strength and conditioning skill-related component, no? La, palalakasin mo yung makina, uh, palalakasin mo yung carburetor, yung magiging, pagiging stock. Not box, I'm not talking about uh, boxing skills, uh, as, I, uh, as I have said. He's very skilled and uh, an excellent boxer. And again, I think makakatulong ito. Madedevelop natin yung iba-ibang uh, aspect. Uh, let me give you a simple idea, Dennis. No? Uh, let's try to think uh, Carl has an identical twin. Mm. Kambal. Kambal sila, no? And uh, they, they undergo training, training with uh, the coaches, skill, they run, uh, they work on the bags, the mitts, etc. But si Carl one, on top of that, he does plyometrics, he does explosive training, he does strength training, reaction, balance, 
agility uh, drills, etc. So, if that uh, things will, you know, scrimmage or spar with each other, who will have the advantage? Mm -hmm. I think you, can, you know the answer already. So, so uh, yun yung uh, sinasabi kung nakikita kung ang laki ng future pa ni Carl when it comes to uh, uh, to bloom as a fighter. All right. And uh, with that, uh, Coach, uh, maraming uh, salamat sa'yo, Coach uh, Melantin. Good luck and uh, hope to see you soon. Thank you, uh, Dennis, and uh, salamat. Thank you.